What's up guys, I'm GamerMD83 and this is your weekly N7 report. I don't have that much news today, uh, just because it's only been a week uh, since the last N7 report and not a lot of things have been announced. I think probably the biggest thing that was announced, what was it today? Yeah, it was today, it was released today was the Special Forces trailer, which was absolutely awesome. I, I, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like um, the idea of multiplayer in Mass Effect 3. This is a trailer for the multiplayer. But I just, I couldn't stop smiling. I mean, this looks so awesome. I can't wait to play the multiplayer. I actually, I, I sent a tweet to, um, to Casey Hudson asking him about uh, the, the multiplayer, um, if we, we are all going to start off as default humans. If we start off as humans, it's just going to be like a bunch of humans. I mean, it might make sense. It might start off, like maybe they'll put it into the multiplayer, like part of the storyline where before, before you gather or before you get the help of the other races, um, like the Turians and the Salarians and all that, uh, maybe you just start off as playing as the Alliance Special Forces. So you're just the Alliance members, so that's why you're all human. Um, I guess maybe that would be interesting if they incorporated it into the storyline. And that way, that's it's like, oh, okay, I see. That's why they're all human in the beginning. Maybe the further you get... Um, the help of other races, that's when you start unlocking them and then it's it makes sense that now they're, the other races are on your team now. Um, I guess that makes sense. I could see that. I kind of wanted to start off as a different race. Um, a lot of people have asked me what race I'm going to be and I really want to be a Turian. Um, that's my number one race. But I also really want to be a Solarian. Like, I love Solarians and I, I don't know, I feel like I could relate a lot to Solarians for some reason. And I, I've mentioned this before, but yeah. So yeah, that Special Forces trailer, if you guys haven't seen it, it's absolutely awesome. Even if you don't want to play the multiplayer, at least see it, just because it looks so cool. Um, so yeah, go watch it. It's on uh, Bioware's YouTube channel and on MassEffect.com and po probably on Bioware.com as well. There was also this really cool um, blog that uh, written by uh, Patrick Weeks. I I just I love the the way that he wrote it. It's very funny and very quirky, but informative at the same time. He kind of describes um, a he describes a scenario and it says playing with a vanguard or something like that, or I'm playing with a vanguard, uh, and it pre pretty much he just talks about how it's going to be like in multiplayer if you play with a vanguard. Someone in your group is a vanguard. And uh, I, he says that you're on the battlefield, and then all of a sudden you see this blue flash go whoosh, and it just f like launches itself into the battle. It's very reminiscent of like Leroy Jenkins, and I start cracking up. Like if you guys haven't seen that video, by the way, the Leroy Jenkins video for World of Warcraft, I'm sure a lot of you have. But if you haven't, you have to see it. It's absolutely hilarious. It's gone down in like video game history. But yeah, he talks about uh, playing with the Vanguard and how it could be actually pretty useful, because um, the, the Vanguard could be used almost like as a as a controlled targeting system, because the Vanguard is up close and personal with the enemy, so uh, it, there is no friendly fire in Mass Effect multiplayer. Like you could shoot at your at your friend by accident. But the the targeting system of the game will like automatically um, change to the enemy. Like it'll target the enemy. The targeting system will will say, okay, she doesn't mean to hit her friend. She means to hit this enemy right here, and it changes. So there's there's no worry for idiots going on there and just shooting you. So you could use the vanguard as like a targeting system because if you can't see where the enemy is, let's say there's like smoke all over the place, and you're just like, where is he? And the vanguard, you just see the blue flash of their charge, like, whoosh, and you're like, okay, it's over there. And you just target towards your friend, and you, the enemy should be there. And kind of useful, I mean, sometimes you, some people might think, 
oh, that's stupid, like, that's too easy, or, you know, uh, you should try to avoid yourself not hitting your friend. It, it takes more, um, more precision of your shooting, but, uh, I mean, it does get rid of a lot of stupid people that go online just to bug people and shoot them and then kill them and all that. So, I don't know, but I thought I thought it was a cool thing. So, yeah, let's leave the trailer behind and uh, just a few little announcements. This Tuesday, uh, the 31st, Deception, the novel, the, the fourth novel of Mass Effect, will be released. Um, I, I've... some people... I've heard some people already read it. Uh, someone even tweeted me and they're like, Look, I got Deception early. It was a mistake or something like that. So I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. But I haven't gotten mine. I'm going to get mine on the 31st. I will be talking about it. I will be doing a book re uh, review for it. Not just a review, but I will be talking about what it was about. Because I know a lot of people don't read the Mass Effect novels. Um, but I think it's important to know what's going to happen in that for Mass Effect 3. Because it does tie to it. So I will be reading it and then letting you guys know what uh, it's all about. I do have a book review for each of the previous novels. Uh, already for Mass Effect. It's a very old video, but um, so I look very different. <laughs> I had shorter hair, but I, I do talk about the, the games in there and I do talk about what I think uh, will tie into Mass Effect 3 and all that. So I will put the link of that video in the description. Also, pretty cool, um, In on April 25th of this year, they will be continuing um, comic, Mass Effect comic series. Uh, by Mac Walters, the, the lead writer, and Dark Horse, I believe. That That's going to be a pretty cool series because it's going to be based off of individual uh, characters from Mass Effect. And it's they said that it's most likely going to be geared towards Shepard's uh, squad members. The first m comic is going to be about James Vega. And then there's going to be other com comics that are going to be about a different character. So that would be really, really cool. I'd love to see something for Garrus, and I'd love to see something for Morden, uh, for Tally. So we're most likely going to see that. Uh, of course, it all depends on how Mass Effect 3 ends. But maybe maybe it doesn't. Maybe these comics have to do with the past, like before anything happened in Mass Effect 3. Maybe, because the, the, co the comic series, series is called Home Worlds, so it might have to do with like some kind of past situation in the certain character's life that it'll go into so even if they end up dying in Mass Effect 3 the co if they release a comic um, for that character and they're just like well they died so that doesn't make sense it could be something from the past so um, that's gonna be really cool I can't wait for those comics and finally just I just wanted to let you guys know that a lot of you are like oh read the new Game Informer read the new Game Informer I do have the new Game Informer I got it through GameStop with the power rewards thingy. Um, so I do get them all. The only thing, the only reason why I haven't read it, there's an article on here for Mass Effect 3. This article, Mass Effect 3, the writer uh, of this article played the game, got to play the first six hours of the game. It says, spoiler warning, I mean, this is the first six hours of the game. I mean, not even the demo goes into the stuff. So. I, I really I don't I haven't read it just because of that. I don't want I don't want it to I don't want to learn these things just yet. And that brings me to a huge favor I would love for you guys to do for me. Please, please don't put spoilers in the comments. A lot of times you guys mention these things like it's common knowledge and it's not. Like a lot sometimes these things are really big spoilers and then at the end you're like, "Oh, I didn't want to spoil anything, but yeah, I just thought it was cool." And it's like and I have to read these, so, I mean, please don't spoil things. <laughs> please. A lot of people want to avoid spoilers. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't care. But I am one of those people that care. I usually don't care. But when it comes to Mass Effect, I want to be as surprised as I can be. Because some things were spoiled or ruined for me in Mass Effect 2. And I just, it pissed me off so much because I didn't get that surprise or that oh my god that everybody was getting I was just like oh it sucks so just I really don't want that to happen with Mass Effect 3 I want to be as surprised as possible um, and I know a lot of you do too so please common courtesy just don't 
put spoilers in the comments. So that's pretty much it for the N7 report. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for Mass Effect Talks. And I should go.